the girls weren't waiting for me this morning. Come on, girls! Woo! I'm gonna check their hay. Atta girls! Good girls! Okay, now we go up and check the hay before I head to physio. Oh, the agonies of physio for my neck, I can't tell you. Ah. very funny my alarm went off <laughs> just as I finished the job of restocking the hay I put the alarm on so that I don't lose sense of time so I can get to my physio appointment at nine this morning yeah the agonies of uh, recovery from a long-term injury neck injury so the good news is I'm getting an MRI in December to see at what stage my four discs are. Two of them were healed pretty much two years ago. One was three quarters healed and one was still a problem. And that's the one that's a pain. But it also will make it the pain literally and figuratively. So we'll see what uh, it entails. I might have to have more of those plasma treatments in the new year, which are debilitating to say the least, but they improve things so I can keep doing what I love doing. So I'm much better than I was in 2017 where this was beginning to go paralyzed. So the improvements, Inca, Inca, behave. Inca, you're bold. You're being bold. I better go or I'm going to be late for my appointment. No, oh, you're not following me. Come on, dogs. Come on. Maya. Inca. Come on. Pups. You're stuck at the back of the flock. Come on. Pup, 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 pup. <whistles> Come on, pups. Where are you? Come on, puppers. Come on. Out of girls. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Now they'll get through. Come on. Out of dogs. Good dogs. Clever pups. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Clever girl. Yeah.
kitty. Yeah. I hear you, kitty. Evenings certainly are drawing in. Hey, kitty, where are you? I hear you. You beautiful kitty. This uh, red oak has shed its leaves. The ash behind it still does, has it? So there's that beech and that horse chestnut and the willow and the big beech. Many trees still have leaves. Are you gonna, are you seriously gonna jump that distance? I just had physio today. I am in a world of pain. So I'll get really close. Do you wanna get on my shoulder? <laughs> I spooked him because Mustard's here. <laughs> hey, kitty mustard. You need you from kitty. Don't worry, he jumped back up right there. How are you, you from kitty? You need you from. Yeah. You're gorgeous, kitty. Brothers, be nice. Be nice, brothers. Don't get in a fight. Okay, I've got to go and do the yo's in the shed. Hopefully the brothers will be nice. <laughs> Just to let you know, I'm all woollied up, not because it's cold. It's actually very, very mild and warm. But uh, uh, the day after, the day that I do the physio for my neck, I want to keep my neck and shoulders warm so that I get the most benefit from the physio. So that's why I'm bundled up like it's really, really cold when actually it's not very cold at all. It's extraordinarily mild. Even when you're in a world of pain, you still have to get out of bed and feed the animals. That's just life on the farm. You leave the pain or your illness in the bed and get up and do the jobs that need doing for the night or before the night. <laughs> okay, the last ones to feed are the two girls, Kestrel and Crystal. I fed the alpaca and a little bit to get them out of the way so I don't trip over them. Then went and did the boys, then went and fed the yos. So the girls are feeling abandoned. <gasps> I know, you're feeling left out. I'm feeding you now. Give me two secs. Happily having their dindins. They've got their alfalfa and their two buckets there. Their hay is here. They can reach it through the fence and fresh water. I just filled that up. Ah. Now I'm going to let these girls out, open the gates so they can go in and out as they please. <coughs> Empty buckets. Hey ladies, you want to go out? There you go. Oop, I forgot to close that gate. Oop, they're just gonna run out. It's getting dark. No sun today. No rain, no sun. Closing all the gates.
Okay. Now I can go back to my miserable bed, read my book, drink some whiskey, and see you all tomorrow morning. The only thing, uh, last thing I have to do is the last, is the dogs at around 10 tonight. So I can go and be miserable now. Oh, there was an alpaca leaning over my shoulder a moment ago. And I was saying, oh, well, that was a nice sympathetic night. Come on, Brindle. So, but no. Not, I, uh, sympathy does not come from alpacas. Got two out there and one is returned in here. I thought she was going to lean on my shoulder for a minute, but no. No sympathy. <laughs>